Hi guys, thanks for watching today's tutorial. We're going to get this girl, we're going to remove the background and place it into this image to look like this. Right, first thing we're going to be doing here, we're going to get a broad selection around the girl. Actually, you've got the shadow on the bottom here, make sure we get all the shadows in there. And nice and broad, copy that, go to the next image and paste. Now get the selection tool, transform, and put it into perspective into what we want to put it into. Something like that is perfect. Okay, now what we're going to do, we're going to remove this background. Now because the background is very similar to the color of her jacket, uh, there's two things we're going to separate this picture into two pieces because we want to keep the hair strands. So we want to have a difference between the color tones, the skin, the hair, and the background. Um, if we just go straight into trying to remove the whole background with masks and stuff like that, it's going to start selecting part of the uh, jacket. So we're just going to select around her there, like that, copy that and paste it. I'm going to turn off the other layer, leave the background no layer, so we see what we're dealing with. Now the first thing we're going to do here is go to channels. Now we've got to select which channel shows us the difference, big contrast difference with the image. I'll go back to layers and turn this one off. Yep, layers, now uh, blue. Blue seems to be the one. I'm going to right click the duplicate and here it is there and turn the original one off. Now we're getting up to image adjustments and levels and there's two ways you can do this. You can go really really dark, get a difference. A lot of people prefer that preferred method, preferred method. I prefer to go the opposite direction and make it lighter, like that. Now the background's gone. Select OK. Now we hold the Command key down and hit click, left click, little blue copy layer. Then we go back to Layers. Don't touch the layer. And just hit the Mask tool here. Create Mask tool. That's OK. It looks like that. Don't worry. We're going to invert it. Image, Adjustments, and Invert. It'll be like a bit see-through, that's fine. Because it's in a mask layer up here, all we have to do now is get the paintbrush tool and make sure that you've got black and white selected. Now the white color, make sure we get that. Put the opacity up to 100%. And I might make it a little bit bigger. Let's just start painting in. And because it's a mask, Whatever you're seeing there now is revealed when you use the paintbrush tool. So that's the beauty of masks. It's an unbelievable little trick, a little nice little tool we can use. It's great for doing blending, and especially if you've got a pen and mouse. I'll tell you what, if you're doing Photoshop tutorial too, any kind of Photoshop, the best way to do it is with a pen and tool tablet. Anyway, okay, that'll do us for now. That's fine. So we've still got little bits and pieces here on the background. That's fine. We'll just zoom in on those. And we use the paintbrush tool and we select black. And we're going to take the black paintbrush tool and take it down a bit. And very gently, we're just going to go around the image like this. And we're just going to get rid of that little portion that we didn't get rid of before, that little white blur right around her head. Keep on going down, like this, bit of that. We're just blurring this in. Not really blurring it in, but we're just kind of mixing it in. Now when you get to something like this where you've got a little strand there, if I turn the background light off, you won't see it. So we're just going to take the opacity and put it down and keep on painting around these areas. Little strokes, little strokes, little strokes as you go. You don't have to be too precise with this. And what this does, it keeps everything in perspective. It doesn't do much damage at all to the image. And what it does, it just gently, very gently, just gets rid of that background. And the more you keep on brushing, the more it goes because you've got a low, low 
capacity with the paintbrush here. Okay, sometimes people like the idea of this little glow around the object. Well, this is a perfect tool for that too. So that's fine. That's fine. We're getting there. We're getting there slowly, guys. But we're getting there. That's okay. All right, here we go. Around there like this. Around like that. Because the passage is down, if we go over some of the hair, it doesn't get rid of it completely. So that's the reason why I do it this way. I'll put the opacity back up because I no longer need it for those areas. Okay, just going to paint all this section in here. We hear the, the, the pen on the scratch tablet here scratching away. Okay, okay, now here. There's another way of doing this as well. You can go into, um, you can double click the actual layer and change the opacities that way. You can really get rid of the big color that way if you want to. But we won't go there today, not in this tutorial. This one's just basically how we do it this way. Okay, so that's looking quite good. Zoom out. Just gonna zoom back in again. Now what we're gonna do, we're gonna hold down the R key and rotate the image. Hold down the R key and just move the cursor. Move back in and I'm gonna paint in there again. Now of course I've got the opacity down because I'm dealing with the hair here. I've got that little strand there hanging out. We don't want to leave that there. Just get rid of that big glow at the moment, that white blur around the, the image. These strands of hair, so we're gonna leave those in there. And that looks quite good. Okay, hold in the R key again and bring it up to where we begin. Zoom tool, take it back out again. Make sure we get the R key right and we've got the image like that. Looks good. I'm going to go back to the original image now since we've got it all selected. We're just going to go copy and then we're going to go paste. And then, because when we transformed that before, it'll do the same thing again. We just get the mill tool, go up to image, no, sorry, go up to edit, and again. What that'll do, that'll bring it up to exactly the same way that the original one was done. So, now what we're going to do, the easy way to do this is go back to the layer that we had here. We're going to go command, select it. And go up to the original image that we just posted and hit eliminate or delete okay now get the lasso tool and we can just get rid of that area because we've already got her in there now we're going to turn her off now here what we're going to do we're going to use the pen tool because you see how the image if we select any auto select Images, she's got a white jacket, and it's very close to the background color, so it's not going to work. So I'm going to get the pen tool, click, click, click in the middle, hold down the command key, go on like that. Now we've got these little tiny bits here, we just keep, keep on clicking as you go around, stuff like that. It's not too hard, but the problem is when you're doing it like this, you're making causing straight lines. That's all right, just for this tutorial process purpose. And go there, and I'll click in the middle again, and just warp it like that. Hold down the uh, space car key, and then we can keep on going like this. So I'm gonna go to the next one there, and go like that. Might even move that one a bit more. Bring the dress in, and there. And again, you see a little white line in between the skin and the actual background, so hold down the command key, just do it like that. While I've got the command key down, I'm just going to move that one as well. Now, the legs look pretty straight in this, which is not realistic, but anyway. There you get the image, you get the idea. All right. I'm going to go fast forward through this process here, because it's quite detailed and it takes a long time. Okay, now we've got that selection already done. Uh, we're going to right click the pen.
pen tool selection and make new selection. Radius, we want zero, that's good. Now what we're going to do, we're going to mask that. Okay, straight away it eliminates the background for us. That is pretty cool. Look at that. That looks great. Now all we've got to do is just eliminate this little part here. We do the same thing again with the selection tool. And if we use the selection, we're not going to use the selection tool. We're just going to use the lasso tool because it's only a small little area. And it takes a lot quicker to go around this and flip it back and then delete. Oh, don't need to and delete. Make sure that you've got the actual image collected, not the actual mask. Now we can turn her back on, this one here. Now we go into the mask and we've got to fill in those blanks there. So we get the pen tool, make sure you got white, put the opacity back up to 100%. And we can put her back in the picture, so to speak. Might make the pen tool a little bit bigger. Anything like that. A little bit too much there. Right. Now, we're going to have to use this tool just to bring it down and match it. There we go. That's what we want. That is pretty cool. Pretty cool. Now, here. Now, with her subject there, we're going to use the pen tool again, a little bit smaller in size. Oh, sorry, the black we want. Oops, wrong one. Not this one. Yep, a little bit too much. It's a good way to make someone thin by just <laughs> eliminating bits and pieces. Just going to move that like that, go to this. I might put some more stuff on there. There we go. So now that's looking quite good. That's how we remove that background for her, especially with the hair. Now, turn that one off, the background one. Now we've got these two layers. Now what we're going to do, we're going to merge these two layers only, not the whole entire thing. So we're going to hold down the command key, hit one layer, and hit the other layer, and then hop, type, uh, use the G key, and that'll group them. We're going to right click the layer, convert to smart object, and we can do what we want with that. Put the background layer like that, and group like that. Now, the first thing we want to do is put a shadow in there. So, uh, there's a lot of different ways that you can do this. Um, we're going to right click the group layer and rasterize the image first. And we're going to right click and duplicate the layer. Doesn't matter what. Now, we're going to convert that to a gray color. So we go to Command, Shift, and U. Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. Now we're going to go to Image, Adjustments, and Levels. And we're going to darken that whole entire image, that picture there. Got a cool, real cool looking silhouette going on there. Now, this is the move tool and bring it down in size a little bit, not too much, because it all does it automatically, it all in perspective. So, we're going to hold down the shift key, continue, and then we're going to go to the right a little bit, right, let go, that's fine, and go back to edit, transform, and distort. Now the light source is obviously coming from this direction. So we're going to get in the middle of it, bring it down and put it on an angle, something like that. Let's put that underneath that foot. Put that one underneath that foot there. Now that looks pretty good. That looks good. We'll go, we'll stick with that. Just hit lasso to it and that's fine. Now, here's a little trick. Click Mask. Now go to the Paint Drop tool and get the Gradient tool. What we're going to do here, if we click from, while we're in Mask Mode, we 
to from there to here, we get this braid ink. This is what we want. We go a little bit further. Perhaps not too far. That looks good. Now we're going to go filter and blur. Gaussian blur. Not too much about there. Oh, hang on. We've got to go. Sorry. Correction. Make sure you got the actual image correctly for that because we're just using ordinary transformation tools here. Yep, that looks good. Now, to get it underneath her, all we have to do is just drag that layer underneath that one with her. And there's our shadow. Now, <clears throat> with her, we're going to match her with the environment, the background. We go up to image, adjustments, and you can go under all different things like hues and saturations. I usually go to exposure and gamma correction. I'll just put that up a bit and see how she's already automatically just gone bang. She looks perfect for the image there. The exposure, you want to take the exposure down a tad. I wouldn't take it down too much. And don't touch the offset. That's looking quite good. I'm happy with that. So there we go guys, that's how you move a background with hair and a white t-shirt, especially when it's the same colour as the background. Thanks for watching.